Alright guys, so today I'm going to go over this model of the human head for your upcoming lab exam and cover all the important points. So here we can see we have your orbicularis oculi muscle, your occipital frontalis muscle, and this is the frontal belly of that muscle. We have your orbicularis oris that goes around the mouth. We have your levator labii superioris right here, as well as your zygomaticus muscle and your risorius to help you smile and elevate your lip. We have your depressor labii inferioris as well as your mentalis muscle. Coming over here, we can see we have our parotid gland, our parotid duct, and we have all of these nerve fibers coming through nerve, cranial nerve number seven. And you know, we have the temporal, zygomatic, buxal branches. There's a few more here than are necessary, but just know that those are the nerve bundles coming out. So we also here have our masseter muscle. We have our supraorbital nerve coming up, allowing for sensation on the skin over your eye. We have your auricularis superioris muscle, for those of you that can wiggle your ears. And back here, we have the occipital belly of the occipital frontalis muscle. Over here, we have your sternocleidomastoid muscle to help turn your head. And in blue, we have the jugular vein. And then in red, if you can see here, here is your carotid artery. Back here, we have your trapezius muscle to help you shrug your shoulders. And then coming around on this side, we have our submandibular gland. So now, coming around to the inside section of this model, we have your um, superior sagittal sinus, which helps to drain the CSF from your arachnoid space. We have your cerebrum, which is your uh, lobe of the brain. We have your frontal sinus, sphenoidal sinus. We have your corpus callosum, which connects the two hemispheres of the brain together. We have the optic chiasm, this little guy, this little ball right here, and you know this is where the optic nerve fibers cross. We have here your atlas and your axis vertebrae. Here's your odontoid process of your axis. We have your nasal cavity as well as your superior, middle, and inferior nasal concha. We also have your nasopharynx space back here and the pharyngotympanic opening right in there. Here's your pharyngeal tonsil as well as your hard palate soft palate. Here we have your tongue, your genioglossus muscle, geniohyoid muscle, and down here your mylohyoid muscle. Here we have your hyoid bone, your mandible. In blue here we have your epiglottis, then the thyroid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage. We have your vestibular fold right over here, your vocal fold or your vocal cords. And then we have your trachea and esophagus. So these are the highlights of the major points that are important for your upcoming exam. Obviously we have some more midbrain pons, medulla, spinal cord, cerebellum, uh, you know, uh, 
So these are the important points. I hope this helps and good luck.